Out of the way. You think I forgot what you did? You can blame Marcana all you want, but it was your men who ambushed my us. My men were following orders. We got rules. Not my fucking problem that you people don't understand. Yeah, well, I'm about to make it your fucking problem. This shit is this time. Goddamn. If it ain't the city's favorite pot-licking donkey, Thomas Burke. The fuck did you just say to me? Put the gun down, Burke. It's gonna take all four of us to bring down Marcana, so I don't want any more of this stupid bullshit. Bring down Marcana? These two used to work for Marcana. And this one? Do you know how many of my men this canard killed because Marcana told him to? Fuck him, and fuck you if you think I'm ever gonna trust him. Hey, these get the two. fuck out there, there's no sweat off my ass. You don't trust him? Good. Because I don't trust any of you. But that doesn't change the fact that I destroyed Barbieri's operations, killed Doucette and those other redneck motherfuckers, and saved Joe ass from Greco's men. So here's what you need to decide right fucking here now. Either fall in line or get the fuck out. Just know, second you step out that door, your name's getting added to my list right beneath Marcano's. Now, 
We're all done acting like goddamn children. Let's go over the plan. In order to bring down an organization the size of Marcano's, we need to eliminate the people at the base and work our way up. It's the same thing I did not. <laughs> I know the military filled your noggin with all manner of tactics and schemes, but let's not overthink this shit. Let's say we go out to his house and shoot him. Shouldn't take more than an hour or so. Not pending on traffic. And what you think gonna happen after? Everybody else just gonna lay down and die, you stupid ass motherfucker. Cassandra's guys. right. Just killing Marcano doesn't get us anywhere. One of his brothers will take over and we're right back where we started. So, first, we go after his lieutenants. Then, once they're killed, we seize their territory and move on to the Capos. Once the lieutenants and the Capos are killed, Marcano will be isolated and alone. And that's when we go after him. Hold on, what happens to those territories we get from Marcano's guys? Once it's in our hands, I'll decide who gets to run the day-to-day. -day. I give you a district, you get the rackets and everything else. But I'm also counting on you to hold it. Keep that bastard from reclaiming it. One last thing. Y'all know that building that's going up across the lake? Hmm? It's building a casino. Marcano's constructing this so he can go legit. All his money's tied up into that thing, so... Once he figures out what we're up to, it'll limit his options. More importantly, it's an emotional attachment. Emotions make people irrational, greedy. So that's where we hit him. Right in the goddamn heart. Hey, nice speech. Think they bought it? Don't care. They're all too greedy or pissed off of Marcano to back out now. At least until one of them decides to try the crown on for size. Well, if it comes to that, I'll handle it. <laughs> the photos were a nice start and all, but I'm gonna need some actionable intel on those lieutenants. A place of business, where I can find them, you name it. The dossiers are nearly complete. I'll be ready to move when you are. <laughs> I was also able to recruit some concerned citizens who are more than happy to share what they know about Sal's coalition of WAP assholes. Information on how to contact them will be included with the other intel. Appreciate it. Sure you don't need a ride? Oh, I do my own driving. Ooh. And the uh, systematic killing of Marcano's capos and lieutenants, that was part of the plan. Well, you're implying fucking patty cake, Christ. Look, you want to bring somebody down, you destroy the foundation they're standing on. It's the same basic op we ran over Nam.
You ever heard of Enzo Conti? Think Sammy mentioned him a time or two? He's 61, old school mob. Been running Barclay Mills for decades. He started off exploring the railroad and moved on into industrial waste. All the heavy construction equipment and supplies for the casino, steel, concrete molds, that kind of thing, was all brought in via Enzo's trains. All that shit has to be worth millions. Enzo didn't just hand it over to any cat who walked in the door. Marcano's a felon, so he's gotta have a partner, someone who's legit. If he does, that person's buried deep. I went through the paperwork, it's a goddamn maze. Which means we need to get Enzo to tell us who it is. According to my sources, Enzo's not a big fan of the casino, thinks anyone who's not Sal Marcano's gonna end up getting fucked. So I might be able to use that to flip him? Probably have to squeeze him pretty hard, but it's worth a shot. He's still involved in the railroad and has to store all that industrial waste somewhere, so I'd start there. Once I take his district from him, I'll give him a call from the motel, offer him an out. And if that fails, you could always give him a Hanoi hangman. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I expected. This was a mistake. I don't want any trouble. Someone told me you work at the dump, that you might have information for me. Now, your name's Maria, right? Mm-hmm. Maria Bava. I've only been at the dump a couple of months. Accounts receivable. I know. Glamorous. Paul Simmons runs the place. Everybody calls him Puppy, though. You've got to stop him. Stop him from doing what? Dumping waste in the bay, extorting drivers from other garbage companies, but that's... That's not the worst thing they're doing, is it? Mister, they're killing people. Puppy... <sighs> Mr. Simmons doesn't know how to keep his boys down on the phone. But he was arguing with one of the cleaners. Kept saying how they'd been paid to get rid of somebody. You know when these cleaners will be around? No, but some of the other guys who work for the dump might. I'll chase down information on these cleaners, along with the rest of the dump's business. It's gonna be all right, Maria. You did the right thing. Some of Mr. Simmons' people might know more about the illegal dumping... ...and the bodies.
Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. We are directly. What? You want something? You let me Show know. me what you got. Hope you're happy with that. See you later. Schedule to keep. Just come tussle with him. Get over here, you bunch of uh, Who's got a fucking arsenal? Dad is home, cocksucker!
Oh, I think she's sweet on old puppy. <laughs> Poor kid. You're gonna tell me everything puppy's up to at the dump. After what you did, those twisted motherfuckers are hunting your ass down. Ain't no way you can shake them. Here on out, I call the shots. Unload some cash in Barclay. Be there soon. What can I take off your hands? Keep this safe. On my way. Call me if you need me. Start getting bigger.
requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. Be out directly. Ah. You spot anything you can use? Let me see what you got. Done deal. I'm out of here. Or did you catch that too? Oh shit, that don't sound good. Huh? Okay, but not by myself. Too late to run now, boy! Get him! Got him! What? Over here! He's all yours, boys! You send me a new ride? I'm in Barclay. Just gonna take a squirt, and I'll get her out here.
One car is promised. Perfect. Now get out of here. Little piss ant. You can go lay off. You gonna get flayed, cocksucker! Who it is. Good to see you up and breathing, Connie. <laughs> well, fuck, man. He got kind of crazy when you was taken over the warehouse in River Road, but I got out all right. Heard you know something about the Barclay train yard. Yep. This is more independent like between the two of us. That friend of yours in the nice tan suit figured you need eyes and ears on Pete Santini's shipping operation. What's Santini up to? He's a protection man here in Barclay. You want to see whatever you put on a train end up where it's supposed to be? You gotta pay Pete's people. Sounds kind of small time for one of Marcano's outfits. Give the man a prize. Ever wonder why this city's got so many guns? Marcano and Enzo got Santini running them. You bust up them deals and you put the hurt on Pete's business. All right. I'll see about getting my hands on that map. Be seeing you. You know the drill. Lean on Santini's people, see what they got to say.
about reports of a hit and run in Barkley Mills. Area units, please respond. I know you heard me! Go! Go look back! Just get to the phone! This is gonna be fun! Take it down! This is the way! No fucking way! I want to know what he's up to. Mr. Santini's been doing some small-time gun sales. I know where he's been stashing the money. He on out. I call the shots. Piece of shit puts it out. I want to unload some cash in Barclay. Hold your horses, I'll get to you. What can Keep I take off safe. your hands? Guess our business is done here. Really done a number on the dump. Scared the hell out, puppy. I mean, Mr. Simmons let me go today. 
You sound happy about it. Apparently they're having trouble with the business and he can't afford to pay me, but truth be told, I'm glad to be out of there, away from that place. Is Puppy at the dump now? Yeah, why? <gasps> what are you gonna do? Are you gonna kill him? All depends on Puppy. I'll be seeing you, Maria. I'm still not sure what Mr. Simmons got himself Call into. Call units. Search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrols. in a supply run to Barclay Mills. Going at you. Hang tight. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. Our business is done. You know how to find me. So, you know the new kid, right? Huh? Goddamn. What was that? I think we got trouble. Huh? We feeling good or bad? Let's go! I spotted him! Help! Help! I pinned! 
Order! Shoot him for fuck's sake! Oh, no! Oh, oh, oh. There, there, you see him? Mm. I need someone to kill these Barclay motherfuckers. boys. and die in a dump. And even that's too good for you. Send whoever you can to Barclay Mills. I ain't letting this place go. I know just the boys for the job, but I expect you to remember this next time we have one of our gatherings. Anyone who thinks Sammy Robinson was the Mardi Gras mastermind is a moron. And just because he was involved doesn't mean it was his idea. And none of the evidence ever added up. The money wasn't recovered, and Sammy didn't shoot himself in the back of the head and then burn down his own bar. The only reason people believe Sammy was behind it was his skin color.
Got ourselves a guest. <laughs> My dog's on a love violating your. He won't get you away. You gotta from get your. get a piece of him, but I'm first. Man, that must have took off. See if you can find that fuck. Looking over here now. Someone to kill these Barclay motherfuckers. You got it. We'll be around shortly. <laughs> we got a score to settle now. Look who I got. Get on down. Now. Oh, God. 
I want to unload some cash in Barclay. Be there soon. Look there! He's got a gun! Mighty wife! All right. What do we handle Keep today? Safe. Guess our business is done here. Can you send me a new ride? I'm in Barclay. Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. Sorry, man. Can't do it right now. Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mill. Car here for you. That's a big help. Huh? Everything you see is for sale. Let me see what you got.
watch it. Dipshit. Hey!
Hello? Yes. We need help right away. Be advised, there's been a hit and run in South Downs. Any units in the area, please respond. <laughs> You really been to work on Santini's Check business. <laughs> God damn, you make an impression, boy. Didn't mean no offense by that. Listen, it's not setting well with Santini that people think they don't have to pay for protection. And it sounds like no one trusts him to deliver on gun deals like usual. Imagine that's got him pretty pissed off. <laughs> got him, Enzo, and Marcano looking weak. Going over to the train yard. Santini's there now, trying to figure out what the hell he's going to do. Been fun, Connie. Keep it tucked up out there. <laughs> if you don't get to Santini, Marcano will. Might as well put the poor bastard out of his misery. Jesus Christ! Jesus. Uh, one regret, sir. Reports of a hit and run in Barkley Mills. 
in a supply run to Barclay Mills. We are directly. I want to unload some cash in Barclay. Sure thing, Cher. Heading your way you now. You anything you can use? Show me what you got. Guess we're good. Call me if you need me. Need to make a Keep deposit, sugar? Going straight to the bank. Be fucking gone. Let's see if you can find that fuck. Only so many places to hide, partner. Who's here? I wonder if he's over there. Dead asshole, 12 when I'm done.
We got ourselves a guest. The fuck? Get him! Hey. Get around him! I see you. The kid's joining the party. I need some of your boys in Barclay Mills. Okay, my boys are gonna come over and make sure it's all nice and locked down. But I ain't doing it as a favor. I expect you to look out for me. Remember, we're supposed to take down Marcano together. The investigation was a mess from the very start. The locals did everything they could to keep us out of it, but that wasn't the worst of it. Someone actually broke into our offices and not only stole all of our files, but they also took most of our surveillance equipment. Jesus Christ! <laughs> I'm gonna show you in the goddamn face. Now we're even. <laughs> Fucking asshole. Time to call Enzo. <sighs> All right. Tile this. <clears throat> yeah. Barclay Mills is gone. All of it. Who the fuck is this? Take a guess. Got a lot of nerve calling me like this. You know who the fuck I am? I know exactly who you are, Enzo. You're 
mob lieutenant who's just lost control of his district. Marcano will probably end up playing you next to Michael Greco. You goddamn coward. You want me dead? Be a man. Do it yourself. I don't want you dead, Enzo. I want to make a deal. A deal? <laughs> Jesus Christ, son. You need to get your fucking head examined. You tell me who's behind the construction of Marcano's casino, and I'll do what I can to keep that WAP asshole from killing you. Why the fuck should I think you could protect me from Marcano? Look at what I did to you. Meet me at the quarry. Next time, don't let me catch you napping. Kiss my ass. Major train fixing shit. Lincoln, get a load of some of these tools. Some major train fixing shit. Requesting a supply run to Barclay Mills. I'll head your way now. 
I want to unload some cash in Barclay. Be there soon. See anything you need? Let me see what you got. We're good. Need to make a Call deposit, me if you need sugar. Better not lose this. Going straight to the bank. Put the gun away. If I wanted you dead, Enzo, I wouldn't have walked through the front door. All the same, I ain't taking no chances. Hold on here. I know you. You're Lincoln Clay, right? Lived with Sammy Robinson? Went off to Nam? That's right. <laughs> Christ, son, if I'd have known that, we could have saved ourselves a whole lot of trouble. Follow me. You probably don't know this, but Sammy and I went way back. He was a good man. Didn't deserve what happened to him. Hell, none of y'all did. And this shit with the casino? It's a giant fuck you from Sal to every man who ever worked for him. He wants to go legit and fuck the rest of us in the process. <laughs> Guess it's well past time I fucked him back. You know Remy Duval? Sure, he's the big shot on the radio. Without him, there's no casino. He owns the land, runs a construction company, you name it. So, these are all fronts? Yeah, they're bullshit. Created a big paper trail to protect himself in case everything falls apart. And Marcano doesn't own any of the land? <clears throat> nah. It all belongs to Duval. He's no idiot. Long as it's in his name, Sal can't touch him. How do I find him? He lives up in Frisco Fields. But from what I hear... Olivia Marcano is keeping close tabs on him, forcing him to stay low. The last thing Sal needs is for his sole legitimate partner to get into trouble.
Hey, yeah, why wouldn't I be? Said some of these men work for you. Not some of them. Got him! All Get on! I need some targets gotten in River Row. You got it. We'll be around shortly. Pass me. Some shooters to hit a target in Barclay. Vito says go get I 
said the same thing to your mother. Kill one old man. It ain't just any old man. It's Enzo fucking Conti. Show some respect. That's a God damn. You like? No, I love. Give me there and I'll make a financial contribution to your cause. They got it blocked, but I bet we can bust through the gate. What about the train tunnel? The tunnel? <laughs> it's your call. All aboard! <laughs> Guess I'm retired. <laughs> Swamp rat did the rat. You get played, What the Where am I dropping you? I got this girl, Henrietta. Shacks up at the Carousel Hotel in the Hollow. Smart as a fucking whip. I left a fucking bag with her. Should have all I need to get by. Two tears in a bucket. So yeah, me and Sammy back in the day, we had these two knockouts. And we was drinking, partying, having the time of our lives. This was uh, 1942, no, 43. You must have been about the age you are now. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. Ah, shit! Now, where the fuck was that? Ah, oh, yeah. And the girl with your old man, she starts getting into the making out. But she got a problem. Sammy's passed out cold. Told you he was drunk off his ass. But this girl was into him, so she gives him the benefit of the doubt. Keeps trying. 
smacks him a bit, wakes him up. But every time she starts getting into it, Sammy drops. Poor bastard couldn't stay awake to save his fucking life. Finally, she's had enough and storms out of there, cursing the goddamn blue streak. And do you know who that woman was? Perla? Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 40. We got the goddamn devil working right here. Now, where the fuck was I? Ah, oh, yeah. Perla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, man. Perla didn't move to New Bordeaux until 44. I'll show you who it was. I got the photo right here. Are you kidding me? Sammy had a shot with her. She was passing through on her way to Hollywood, but it all worked out, didn't it? Sammy wound up with Perla, the love of his life. This is good right here. Sorry again about what happened to Sammy and Ellis. Appreciate it. Look at you. Guess there ain't no turning back now, huh, pal? This is our first step toward breaking Marcano and taking over the city. I hear what y'all got to say, but I decide who gets the turf, and in the end, my decision is final. My boys got one of the rackets locked down, and part of our job there is to get the lay of the land, a feel for the folks who live there. Would be quite a shame to throw all that away. Jesus, shut the fuck up. My guys aren't down there boozing with the neighbors or igniting some kind of race war. They're making money. For you. That's all that matters. So forget all this hippie bullshit, and let's get to work. When you finish listening to the Who's Got the Bigger Pecker contest, I'll be here ready to take over this part of the city. You gotta see all the angles, Lincoln. You need to show me you serious about working together. So far, I ain't seen shit. Calling this one for Skeletta. Goddamn, Chalky, what the fuck are you doing? I held down that bit of action just like you asked. I'm not taking this kind of shit from you no more. About fucking time. Always knew you had a good head on your shoulders. The ambiance here ain't enough to keep me coming back, brother. I think I'll excuse myself for the time being. We're done for now. You'll hear from me if I need you. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I thought. What a prick. Turns out you were right. I gotta go. Thank you for this. Happy hunting, Donovan. <sighs> Miss Lancaster's helping me with a side project. You get a name at Enzo? Yeah, Remy Duval. He's not only building the casino, he also owns all the land where it's being built. Remy Duval? The jackass on the radio? His family's been down here a couple hundred years. Thinks it makes him everyone's massa. According to this, he heads up the Southern Union in his spare time. The Southern Union's basically the fucking clan. You know, right before I shipped out, Father James was with some other folks protesting the fact that the city didn't have any black cops. Southern Union came in and kicked the shit out of everybody they could get their hands on. Day after, they spray-painted God hates niggers across the front of his church. If President Andrew Johnson had actually executed those traitorous fucks, we wouldn't have this goddamn problem. Enzo also mentioned Olivia Marcano. Olivia's an outlier. Old Southern money. She's the one that was married to Sal's brother, Lucho. At least until someone slit his throat. And she runs Frisco Fields. Ever since Lucho died. 
She expanded his drug business and opened a PCP lab. Hmm. And since a lot of mafiosos live up there, she probably just has a place they can socialize. Well, it's usually in the back of some business. I never knew the mob had women as capos. She's there to keep Duval in line. Only people these entitled pricks listen to were other entitled pricks. So who are you gonna go after first? Duval. Since he owns the land where the casino's being built, killing him will muddy things up. You think hitting Olivia's businesses will help draw him out? I've known racist assholes like him my entire life. Black man like me running around terrorizing white folks. He ain't gonna be able to let that stand. His pride will bring him down. Hey, you know that bourbon's not cheap. Good luck out there.